Um, a tooth. Yeah, there's been a string of murders in Char Hollow, and <laughs> you guys are pretty sure it's the mummy. Yes. No one's. The He's not gonna give the tooth. Yeah, yeah, nobody knows I have it. Obvious. Actually, yeah, I don't think that. Yeah, it's, it's super obvious. But it means you could meet the mummy again. Do you want to meet the mummy? Yeah, do, um, do, no. we, we didn't see that I, he has I these tooth. Are, yeah, there, no, are there myths about no. mummies okay. the same way that there are here, like in our no. world? No, uh, no, there is not. There's not that whole stigma of it being. A They're monster. probably like Victorian era stuff, right? About like weird, like, like, like exoticized like like stories of Aruvian. <laughs> not, not as much. Okay. No, um, not really. Like, like Egyptology was a big thing. The superstition with Aruvia has to do with more like, uh, like. Um, birds and stuff like that. There's a lot of creepy bird creatures that exist in Aruvia. Okay. Uh, that's that's like the scary thing. Like I can understand why. Turkeys birds are horrifying. Are, no, no. Yeah. Birds like, are gross. Like, uh, they, they call them rasks. Like, so Duskval has their vampires and Aruvia has their rasks. Um, Very mm. Which are just wild turkeys. But they're horrible. No, they're not wild turkeys. They're like they're like men harpies? with the head of birds. They're harpies. But I do have a serious question oh. and that is, when the mummy escaped, what neighborhood were we in? Uh, night market. So, so do we get the impression that this mummy is consciously just going to be like it's sort of like how aliens only capture farm people? No, so that because this is it. the other thing that's weird to you. As powerful as Al Put Khan was, you think he would be not restricted to one district. Yeah. So the weirdest thing is that it's only happening in Char Hollow and he hasn't like started this reign of terror. Yeah, that sounds city. weird, right? Yeah, yeah like, exactly. Like you're building power over If you're time. an ancient Arubian mummy, do you just number one go to one place and only go after um, like it depends on no. if you have and a if you have a particular to reason. Yeah. That's that's the which thing. Point it no, becomes unstoppable. But aren't the fat wealthy people moister than the poor homeless? But they are that's harder true. to capture. The the other thing is that it's really weird. Like he was pretty powerful already. You don't yeah. you can't really think of Arthur especially because he's you know a, a whisperer and knows these things. You yeah. can't really think of any reason for the mummy to be dilly dallying in Char Hollow. You don't yeah. know why. Like he, you think he'd be going for like all over the place, right? He'd become this monster. Maybe he'd try to actually take over the government, that sort of thing. <laughs> what's mummy his... for president! Yeah. That does not seem mummy yeah, what's Well, his, what's no, no, campaign? like, kill the governor and, <laughs> like, reinstate his rule oh, as the okay, king. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. All right, all right. Make I'm like, a brutal <laughs> takeover. Oh, okay. Make just <laughs> like, dry okay, again. <laughs> Not, not, yeah, not yeah. the... It's like, it's like, Bernie, Bernie. It's like, mummy. So... I am not undead. So, I am not a corpse. <laughs> oh, my God. So, so that actually does remind me. This annual governor's parade? Yeah, the Jubilee. Is this, like, a... Is it, like, North Korea stupid? Like, it's, like, this... Super high security. No, just it's a, it's a, it's doing... a, it is, or is super it like high more security. Like, like is it more pride? Like like it's like super gay, shirtless everyone. Well, it's not super. It's not super gay. Um, but it, <laughs> it's like a, it's like a jubilee where like he he goes yeah, on the parade. Class, it's like a so. festival every year. He it's for the people. He's making an appearance. Okay. Right? Like so, it's celebratory. Yes. It's not it's like hi, I'm military. here. Bye. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and it, I, the, it's a festival. Shops open their doors. People throw parties. Remember cakes, who I that am? sort of thing. Okay. It happens. It happens every I'm five years. Okay, you forgot. Oh, oh, okay. This must so be a big annual. deal. No. This oh, must be a okay. big deal for They're you. Saying, you probably get a lot yeah. of business oh, around. Yeah. So it's it was a huge deal. Yeah. Because there's okay. parties and balls, yeah. Yeah. and people yeah. want to look really nice. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, people would want to pay to Maybe, look good for the parade. Yeah. And security will be lax because everyone will be diverted trying to protect the governor in their state. Maybe there'll be like large... Means diamonds won't be protected. <gasps> Maybe there'll be large open house governor's ball president. parties and it means like we get to dress up and go steal stuff looking really nice. Good. We could. There'll definitely be some masquerade balls you could attend. Yeah, I'll wear a mask. Yeah, you're all gonna wear masks. Yeah, we are. Every <laughs> time. That's why I said Mask masquerade Gate. balls. Masquerade. Oh, masquerade. Mask yeah. Anyway, so what's take that thing off? What's the plan? I'll let, you, I'll let you guys talk about this. I'd rather, I'd rather keep it on. <laughs> Which means before the jubilee comes, we have time to like uh, find the mummy. What's happening? Oh, bathroom. When does, oh. Jubilee, when does right. the jubilee come? When does the jubilee come? What if the well, what yeah, if the mummy? Okay, what if yeah. the mummy so, crashes the parade? So yeah, how about we? Uh, I think we should stop that from happening by taking care of the mummy first. Fine, let's go take care of the mummy. Yeah. I guess it really comes down to, as a crew... I like that idea. Do we... Because clearly we've become increasingly... Unhinged? Daring. Uncaring about human life. 
This would also theory. This would be. I, 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 like I feel like those go hand in hand. I like how we basically. We've been coming what they call like, dark and complex. Reckless with theory. It's like <laughs> I feel we like thought they're the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> like, daring. <laughs> yeah, this certainly would be probably yeah, the most that guy daring. Was daring. It was daring. They've got a hallway through of like doors that we're not supposed to go in. Any I of actually like. I actually like that idea of like being they're, like, they're, let's find the mummy. Yeah, the, the, well, I the, mean, really, he's talking about the heart in the no. oh in the dimmer system. No, if we man. know that I'm it's so even there anymore, that. I feel like the best bet is to blow up the dimmer sister's house and hope they. Do die. you think they're stronger than the mummy? But no, I, you mean do, you think wait? Do we? Than do the we think? Do no? Do we think the dimmer sisters are stronger than the mummy? I do. Think I think they are of the, the same mummy. tier. You well, the same here's tier the other mummy? thing: they are omnipotent. So whenever we even come up with the idea. They'll probably be like, they're not oh. omnipotent. No, they, they just are very good at reading people. As when they far show up as we they're know, they're just really old. As far as we know, okay, they're well, omnipotent. Maybe they like ageless. expect that we're coming when we show up. They're elderly and they have children, which are the two scariest things in the world. Yeah, I'm freaked out by those doors. Yeah. It reminds me of like. And the, to be like, honest, I'm down awesome. for anything yeah. except literally going to their house and stealing the heart. Yeah. It reminds me of that's like too that, dangerous. That, but yeah, the 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 bottom line question is, are we the kind of people that cares about the fact that we unleashed the mummy on those walls? Because maybe we're like, ah, what's no, done we, is done. We work in this town. We live yeah. in this town. Well, eventually, it sucks outside. We want to keep it like all eventually. Right okay, so here's the thing. Eventually, we think there's a thing the mummy down. will we be wanna... like, you haven't done this thing you said you'd do. Yeah. And that too. And that is, right now, it's you know, because if we think the mummy is coming after us, and if we think that it's becoming increasingly powerful, I would feel like that we would feel urgent that we want to deal with it before. It oh, eats us. Oh. Yeah, I feel like I want to go to the mummy, but you you haven't told. Have you told us that you attuned and you realized that the heart was in the Demer sister? Yes. yes. Okay. Like, but you and, don't know I want to eat it. it. No, I don't know that. No. <laughs> but what my instinct? <laughs> There's no reason in the universe for you to want to eat the heart. All right, there well, is. Well, eat is. He's, I just he's, caught eating it, but the whole idea is to consume it. With. He's done a okay. pretty good job yeah. of like because I've learned that I can. Acquire mm -hmm. dark powers from attuning and consuming other things, as I've learned from getting the map. And so now yeah. I have a taste for like dark to arcane. drain its yeah. energy. Because yeah. mm -hmm. having tasted of it, now I want it all the time. You you just want to be a magical a mystical siphon. Because mm. it's like the first one, you're like ah, I can take it. You know, a little cocaine once a week is no big deal. Yeah, but once I just you need it to function. Yeah, you know. Yeah. And now I just need larger and larger doses. Yeah. Well, who knows after mummy heart what the next step is? So my dilemma has been Human souls. that basically, Marijuana. I could tell the Marijuana. mummy. Marijuana, <laughs> mummies are a gateway. To... Yeah. <laughs> basically, so what I've been trying to get at is that if I, if we tell the mummy, then we have the powerful mummy who could combat against the sisters mm. and probably mm. like kick their ass. Do we want to? But know? that also would be. Like, if I didn't get the heart myself, does that break the deal? And I think we talked about how, like, I don't, think I don't know would. that. I don't think so. I don't think yeah. you would care. Yeah, do I, we feel I, like what I had mentioned is that if you were to in involuntarily, not involuntarily, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, if you were to, if the mummy purposefully were to, not get the heart for him, no, no, if the, if you were to get the heart for the mummy, uh, without your direct involvement, yeah, uh, then it would be a, it would be like a sway thing to be like, come on, you got your heart back, let me off the hook. Oh, okay. Well, but if you got it for him directly, my thought process, come is on, let me buy you a that beer, maybe I have a conversation and I'm like, you gotta lift this curse before I give you that information, and then he'd be like, you know, it could just crush you right now, blah blah blah, and yeah, I'd, be I'd be like, but I'm dead. And like, anyways, it's like, do we also feel pretty confident that if the mummy doesn't get his heart, they'll come and take Tali, and the rest of us will be fine. Uh, you don't know what the mummy's gonna do. Uh, you're you're pretty sure the Aruvians are gonna step in and deal with it. Before I feel like this mummy kind of like wants to enslave humanity. Like the Aruvians yeah. are like you you're, that's, you you can't definitely. see or at least drink humanity. You can't see any reason why they wouldn't be pushing for like no Duskfall. You need to let us come in and deal with this. So, like, here's and the Duskfall's thing. like get out of our city. <laughs> do we want to help the Aruvians? Trap their mummy, or do we want to help the mummy escape the Arubians? Or just leave it alone and let it take its own course? Yeah, yeah and let Tommy die. Think God King Governor is going to say, "Hey, stupid mummy's in my town. I got to take care of it because I'm ultra powerful." If the mummy dies, maybe the curse will be lifted. That's a hope, but that's wishful. 
I do have to say, now that we've had this conversation, I feel like Arthur would be like, eh, you could probably leave the mummy thing alone because once the mummy is subdued, getting his heart would be much easier because there mm -hmm. won't be someone competing for it. And I could just cut a deal with the sisters. And maybe the sisters would be like, oh, Sonny, you're such a cute kid. Here's a heart for you. It's like when they give you hard know. candy. I think the Dimmer Sisters would eat No, it. I think I want the Dimmer Sisters version of hard candy. You're, like, oh. you're pretty dang sure they're not giving up that heart. The fact that they have the heart and they they had the heart before they told you guys to go get the tooth mm. means they probably are planning something else. Mm -hmm. Did we give them the one, two, three? We did. Okay. Yeah. That was the deal. I for think them. they're gotcha. trying to enslave the mummy. With that. And they want to find a way to bind it into servitude. Hmm. Maybe. I might be wrong. I I think I'm good with whatever outcome we choose the path for. If right. we want to work if, with uh, the reveals, yeah. what if, if we want to just go steal it? What if Alpha was like a business partner of theirs a long time ago? And he like crossed them and so they took his heart and entombed him. Well, we'll never or find out until we do something. they were lovers in the past. Or, yeah. They're not, well, you don't think they're that old. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. Granny seems like she's pretty old, and that mummy definitely looks really old. Some people, lost his bones some people now. just mummify really fast. Yeah, and so is Granny. It's really dry in the Rubia. They don't have like you the have moisture. No idea. So yeah. the way I see it, you guys have like <laughs> three things yes. you can deal with. This guy who's been looking for your crew to get a job mm -hmm. done. Like that's a whole other thing Kayla's been notified about. You can go after Marco's diamond, or you can deal with this mummy situation in a couple of different ways. Yeah. So all that once. If the diamond is, if we want to wait until the festival to use that as cover, I do like that idea. Then yeah, we should. That. Then we should probably offer ourselves to the Arubians mm -hmm. to do the job because it sounds like the kind of job they would pay good coin for, and yeah, what kind of coin? My ears perked up. Yes, because I feel like it's a two coin, two coin, one one rock situation. Okay. Where it's like, because we yeah, want to deal with the we money, have a rock and, we're gonna and get we want to get coin. Oh, oh, I see. So this is like. Oh, we're, gonna get more than two, we're gonna get more than two coins. Yeah. yeah, you're gonna get way more than two coins yeah. if you can just successfully negotiate with them. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. Sure. Into the spider. Let's. Uh. Yeah. Let's talk about if we if we were doing that. Let's talk about who goes to the Aruvian Consulate. I feel like it's these two. Yeah. Because yeah. I am not. I'm good at negotiating, but only when I'm myself in my role. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I feel these like the I feel like the Aruvians are like, aren't you just a child? <laughs> yeah. That's not gonna sell well. Yeah. Okay, cool. So uh, you guys are standing before the doors of the Aruvian Consulate. Mm -hmm. um, different from all the other Dust Ball buildings, it actually carries the architecture and several... Um... Wait, I want to... Before any of oh, this yeah. happens... Sure. So... You should be a Aruvian. Well, no, no, no. What I want to do is I no, need to find time. some person, get a good scan, and, like, be that person. Mm. Just any person? You can easily do that. Yeah. Be an Aruvian. Why would that... Because how would they? Wouldn't they, they trust? Wouldn't, like wouldn't they maybe own? know me? Yeah, yeah, wouldn't they the language trust, or anything? Um, wouldn't they trust one another? It'd be like if you wouldn't disguised trust, yourself yeah, as a Chinese they, person they would, and came though. to me and be like, "Oh, hola, hola, Ogina, they have home gumpy no way." Yeah, and then you're like, "Oh my gosh, sorry, mistake." And then I copy you exactly. <laughs> Just, uh, speaking with their voice, noodle, noodle, egg roll. Noodle. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> so yeah. speaking with their voice doesn't come with language. No, no, no I do not know a Ruby had its own language. Yeah, it does. They, yeah, we established that already. The guards used it last time. But I also well, you uh, talked to the mummy in like some language. Here's the thing, though. The mummy communicated. I really just yeah. want to pick a random person and approach the situation like. Yo, what about me, man? No, it was RK. No, uh, well, I want to approach the situation as. What is, what is, hey, what is, we're a brand new okay. thing. We heard that there's a mummy on the loose, and this is like a business opportunity. And what do you mean? We heard that there's I, a mummy on the loose. It's in the papers. Him. Really I can gaslight him. You can gaslight the hell out of him if you wanted to. It's not really in the face. Well, there's, there's rumors also, that I spread. I spread Maybe rumors. I wouldn't even do anything to him and just mess with him forever. Hey, <coughs> it, it would actually be eventually. polite for him I know. Just to go as a real regular. person. That's like the point. Who's actually a real person in the world. Yeah, I just want to go as just a rando and just be like, hey, there's been rumors, and me and my people see this as like a great business opportunity to be your mummy hunters. Ah, da, 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 da. And like, oh, if yeah. we had a TV show, the opening credits would run. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh yeah. Well, oh yeah. Like you gotta give me a disguise. Give like Miami Vice style yeah. mummy hunter. No, I don't know how to. I don't know how to do it. You gotta do it for me. 
Yeah, I would make you. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I just had I just had this image of like this mummy on the other side of the street and like Tommy running and sliding across the carriage room yeah. and diving at it. Each <laughs> mummy. Freeze, <laughs> mummy. <laughs> Looks like you're under wraps. Oh my god. Does he have sunglasses and he takes yeah. off? <laughs> no, no, you would put him up and he's like, Dad, put your no, sunglasses back this on his yeah, it's... <laughs> But the the thing is is that if oh. they reject us, then they reject us. I just want it to be a random individual. And That's cool. I don't think it's good to be one of them yeah, because you, you of totally the like just... like all of the possible plot holes. So. You should just pick someone with a look that you feel would be convincing. You know, do you want to be like serious sort of like home person, a super buxom like Pamela Anderson person? I probably would go to a bar and I'd probably just look for whoever looks like the most No, that could be complicated. <laughs> Not the person who's most badass, because then if <laughs> if I fuck it up. Oh, so you just can, go you to a bar also, and find an eye patch guy. You can also kind of create your own people. Like, you don't need a template. You can, like, oh, kind I of could, form your own I could have somebody's face just, yeah, and then somebody's, like... You could have oh. somebody that doesn't exist. You could also... Okay, why don't that, you just, like, that's... pretend to be, like, a bounty hunter or something? Like, yeah. a really that's good what, yeah. bounty hunter. Yeah, your dog's a bounty hunter. But I want to create one instead of Ooh, being yeah, one that's already in existence. Yeah, yeah. Because the complication of... Yeah, no, no, I get it. Name him Dog. He's got long blonde hair. <laughs> and he's really big. So, what do you what do you look like when you and Kaylin go to the Arabian consulate? I look like Dog the Bounty Hunter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, all right, all right. No, that's fine. I'm the dog, the big bad dog, uh, the bounty hunter. All right. So, different from all the other buildings in <laughs> Dark Hire a herald to sing the song yeah. as you walk in. Okay, all right. All we right. needed the GM cam for this episode. But <laughs> my countenance is perfect. <laughs> All right, so... Um, Wait, like, who do you want me to be? You're going to be the bounty hunter. Who am I? Do you want to be, like, the bounty hunter wife? It's up to you. Yeah, she... Do I have to wear, like, a really gross shirt? It's, it's your call. You should tell me what you would want. And yeah. then I would... Do you have to give me, like, a breastplate or something? They're not real people. You can just... It's not conducive improvise. to running. No, certainly not. I would just... Yeah, you give me a rundown, and I'd be like, okay, I'll make that person. Yeah. I could be, like... I don't know. The person who keeps track of your affairs or something for you. Like, you're so busy with all this other shit that you can't yeah. like, do your other stuff. Like an assistant or something. Yeah. Oh, you could be that girl in the back office on uh, on uh, American Pickers who's yeah. just always calling them and saying, hey, guys, we got a call. It's like, you guys are ridiculous. Yeah, no, like that, yeah. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. So, different from all the other buildings in Duskfall, the architecture of the Arubian Council actually it's resembles you. the... Um, Architecture of its like I hand out your business cards for you. I was hoping it'd be like a pyramid, like a tomb. (laughs) That's not a name. (laughs) Like you walk in and I like I just go like. They have it's it's different. It's mostly made out of stone. Actually, it is sharp angles. Like they have a whole bunch of sharp angles, and it's actually in the shape of a uh, of a hexagon, but turned so the pointy sides are pointing upward. Um, So it it kind of like looks like a D twenty. So they look like um, bees. Kind of. It 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 (gasps) looks it it looks like. It, it just looks out of place. Like it doesn't look like it belongs. Yeah, in it looks like a beehive. Uh-huh. There are That's there are D20. there are two Washington Monument like Washington Monument like pillars, obelisks. Thank you on either side of the entrance, um, as well as statues depicting the current Aruvian king and queen. Um, oh, yeah, monarchy system over there. I haven't. Well, we read, have an emperor of the world. I haven't so. read the special info released in the special Kickstarter edition of the book, so this is all off the dome piece. All right, so um, so you guys show up at the consulate. And uh, they they push open these huge marble white doors to allow you entrance into this place. Um, tiled floor. Uh, there's a variety of um, Aruvian artwork and stuff on the walls. It's all a lot of sculptural work, and they insert fine gemstones into it in different places, so they sparkle and kind of glimmer. That sort of thing. Good um, thing Marco's not here. There's a there's a there's like a, really <laughs> there's a, like a half circle desk at the far end of this wide open room that leads off mm-hmm. and it leads off into offices and stuff like that so you guys walk up to the desk and there's uh, an arubian clerk sitting there like um you know scratching away on some ledgers and stuff and she looks up at you as you walk in i introduce myself so <laughs> I, was, I was about to I was you about... look like like you look loud right like, he looks like he's okay. he's an explorer. Yeah. Like he's been out. He's like he's. You look he's at him and you're like that guy's hunting leviathans. So, so you look up. Aruvians are very like um, patient practice people, like really reserved. So you look up and for the minute you see her eyes just go like, and then she like immediately like resumes the mask. My name is Jackal, the bounty hunter. I've come with my crew to help 
your your little sticky situation you got going on. I take out a business card and I hand it to her. She looks over the jackal business yeah. card. Jackal gets it done. There's like a little <laughs> jackal gets slogan it done. at the bottom that says jackal gets it done. <laughs> she like sets the card down and scratches a few more things in a ledger and then closes it. Makes you wait for a little bit and looks back up and you go, so what exactly can the Aruvian Consulate do for you, Mr. Jackal? <laughs> no, it's not about what they can do for me. It's what we can do for them. And what we can do is we can catch your mummy that's on the loose. <laughs> I, I've been hearing rumors about mummy. It, you guys need to take better care of your mummies. <laughs> she like narrows her eyes and says, I was not informed of this. There is no mummy on the loose. No mummy on the loose? Have you read the papers? I, I mean... <laughs> the papers never mentioned I have the pa- Oh, okay. Yeah, they never mentioned a mummy. They just mentioned the murders of people being yeah. desiccated. I mean, Regardless, I take out the paper. <laughs> yeah. Desk. Yeah, sure. The paper with the with it, and you like it's like you've written on it. It's like mummy question mark definitely like like drawn on it. <laughs> well, yes. Well, I gotta say, if you haven't heard any news, maybe it's you know top secret, but I've been hearing little rumblings in the underworld about you know little glimpses here and there, and then I like I want to give it like a description of the mummy based off of what I know the mummy looks like, and it's like. I heard my friend Bobby, he said the mummy has, and then I like describe like the way the, the face the is. And stuff like that. And then Do you mention the runes carved on the teeth? I mean I know about it. Right. Do you mention it? Yes. Okay. So as soon as you say that part, because up to that part you're just kind of describing this desiccated corpse. Yeah. But as soon as you mention that part, she like pauses and goes Wait here for one moment. I'll be right back. Whatever. And yeah. she like gets it from the desk and walks off into a, a back room. Tell them that I room. always get it done. Closes, Tell them. She closes the door. Show them the business card. And uh, a she's couple... left the wall jumps unguarded. I love this character. A if only Marco were here. A couple minutes <laughs> You're later. You're a faint voice. 